When it was evening, he came with the twelve, and when they had taken their places and were eating, Jesus said, Truly I tell you, one of you will betray me, and who is eating with me? They began to be distressed, and say to him one after another, Surely not I? He said to them, It is one of the twelve, one who is dipping bread into the bowl. For the Son of Man goes as it is written for him. But woe to that one by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would have been better for that one not to have been born. While they were eating, he took a loaf of bread, and after bread blessing it, he broke it and gave it to them, and said, Take this, this is my body. And then he took a cup, and after giving thanks, he gave it to them, and all of them drank from it. He said to them, This is my blood of the covenant which is poured out for many. Truly I tell you, I will never again drink of the fruit, fruit of the vine, until that day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. When they had sung the hymn, they went out into the Mount of the Olives, and Jesus said to them, You will all become deserters, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep will be, scat will be scattered. But after I am raised up, I will go before you to Galilee. Peter said to him, even though all become deserters, I will not. Jesus said to him, Truly, I tell you, this day, this very night, before the cock crows twice, you will deny me three times. But he said vehemently, Even though I must die with you, I will not deny you. And all of them said the same. I knew for certain that you were about to die this very day and today we'd be your last day. Who would you choose to spend it with? And what would you choose for your last meal? We've just heard read for us about Jesus' last night on earth and his last meal, which he shared with his 12 disciples, his friends. There are many stories in the gospels which seem to involve food and feeding. Jesus would teach during meals he would tell about a wedding feast, a great banquet, and of course there were many complaints made about the people Jesus chose to eat with. Those considered sinners, outcasts, the unloved, those who were different. Jesus made room for all. No one was excluded or left hungry. It was no different on this night, his last night. He and his disciples gathered around the table all of them. When he told them that there was one among them who would betray him, they were horrified and anxious. You can imagine the looks, the questioning, it's him. No, perhaps it's him. I'm not sure. It's not me. Jesus looks around and repeats, it is one of you here eating with me. He takes the bread, he blesses it and gives it to them with the words we're all familiar with. Take, eat, this is my body. And then the cup of wine, this is my blood. This has become our communion service. I can't help thinking of that time on the hillside when Jesus fed a large crowd, two small fishes, five loaves of bread, and everyone was fed and filled. The kingdom of God is when all are invited to the meal even the Judases of this world, and God's kingdom is where all are fed. When we gather at the communion table, there is room for everyone. We gather with all who have gathered before us and those who are yet to gather. This last meal of Jesus says who he is and who we are called to be as his followers. As we think of all that Jesus gave of himself for each and every one of us. Amen. The hymn 266 from Singing the Faith, all the room was hushed and still. I want to take you to a room where a man, a rabbi, gathered with his friends and had a meal together. Extraordinary events took place.
Jesus, why I'm kneeling here beside you. This is what I want my church to be. This is what I want the world to see. grace, mercy and peace from God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit be with you all this day and evermore. Amen. Mm -hmm.